Hi everybody. I recently made a video on how you can talk to your special child about coronavirus and how you can prepare them for the lockdown as the lockdown has caused a lot of changes in their routine. And our program has brought the blow and said that that was very very helpful. But it got me thinking that we are not thinking about this big problem about this big problem. अगर हमारे रूटीन लॉकडाउन में चेंज हो रहे हैं आफ्टर द लॉकडाउन विटनेस अ चेंज इन आर लाइफ स्टाइल द वे वी गो आउट द वे वी बाय ग्रोसरीज द वे वी शॉप द वे वी मीट आर फ्रेंड्स और इवन द वे वी से हेलो नथिंग इज गोइंग टू बी दिस एंड आई रियलाइज इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि हमें लॉकडाउन का टाइम यूज करें टू प्रिपेयर आर चिल्ड्रन फॉर वॉट गोइंग टू हैपन आफ्टर द लॉकडाउन बिकॉज दैट गोइंग टू बी अ मच लार्जर चेंज सो टूडे I am going to share a few tips with you on how to prepare your child for after the lockdown. So, सबसे पहले सबसे important चीज के बारे में बात करते हैं, which is how to take precautions for yourself when you step out, right? So, इसमें mainly तीन चीजें आती हैं: wearing a mask, sanitizing your hands, and practicing social distancing. These three things may come to each child differently, but let's talk about if your child does not wear a mask. I think the first and foremost thing is that you gamify this experience, right? अगर आपका बच्चा मास्क नहीं पहन रहा, तो maybe you can start with two minutes of him wearing a mask. For Sofra, my brother who has autism, वो मास्क पहना पसंद नहीं करता, so we clubbed it with his favorite activity. जब वो शाम को लॉन में वॉक करने जाता है काफी देर, we make him wear the mask for a few minutes, and slowly we'll increase this duration, right? Uh, maybe आप try कर सकते हो कि when he's watching the TV. He wears the mask. The idea is that he com- gets comfortable to the sensory feeling of it. The second idea is to sanitize his hands whenever he touches an object outside or when he goes out and comes in. So, if he goes for a small walk, he should wash his hands. So, it's necessary that he sanitizes his hands. For me, I'm very scared that when my brother goes out, he will be able to manage all of this. So, we have very very simple tips. We have prepared a backpack which he has to carry every time he goes out. Now the first rule is whenever he leaves the house, he can't leave without his backpack. इस backpack में कुछ ऐसी important चीजें हैं which he has to carry as essentials. Now the first thing obviously is a mask, right? He has to learn that every time he goes out, he wears a mask. I'm using an N95 here, but right now there's a lot of shortage available. Something is better than nothing. I think it's very important that we get a mask for our children. The second thing that I have here. इज अ सैनिटाइजर इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट दैट आप सैनिटाइजर कैसे यूज करें आप बच्चों को बताएं कितना क्वान्टिटी में लेना है हैंड्स किस मोशन में रख करना है ये सब उसे प्रैक्टिस करवाएं बिकॉज वेन ही स्टेपिंग आउट यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन ऑल ऑफ दिस थर्ड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दिस दिस इज अंडी और अब तक हम हमेशा अपने बच्चों के साथ इस तरह से स्नेस करते थे और हैंडी यूज करते थे But now, as per the new protocols, as per WHO's recommendation, we are supposed to speak like this. Now, this is a new change, which you probably can't easily understand. Do you know why do they have to change such a normal activity or such a normal action? A way we thought about doing this is now we place our hand here because they said they were using this already, so now they just place their hand here and then do this action. So now they know this action is used for sneezing. इसको आप खुद करके demonstrate कर सकते हैं. Maybe you can use a handy for yourself too, right? And then teach them to fold it and put it back safely inside. The next thing is that maybe they're carrying a wallet. इसमें आप थोड़ा change रख सकते हैं. If your uh, child understands the concept of money, this will be very important. I'm not sure how many of the children have Blue ID cards, but if they do, please make sure that their wallet or their bag has a Blue ID card. This is very important in case your child gets separated from your family or from you while you're stepping out. As you know, the police is also being extra cautious. Everybody is being extra cautious. So, um, if you don't have a UDID card, I suggest you prepare a very very simple placard like this or a letter like this, which says his name. You know, if this was Subrat's health card, it would say my name is Subrat. I have autism. I cannot speak. Right. You can call my mom at this phone number. मैंने ये same instructions या ये same health tips Hindi में भी लिखे हैं. So you can do this for your own regional language. Now this is for what you need to do in case your child steps out, right? But my important concern and what really bothers me is is that my brother lives with my parents, right? And he's very dependent on them for their day-to-day activities, for his day-to-day well-being. 
what if my mom dad are not well or what if the support system breaks so how do my parents prepare for the child in case of this emergency situation so let's talk about preparing an emergency Now let's talk about what will happen in case somebody needs to step in in case you are in self isolation. In this situation, may it can be a neighbor, it can be a volunteer, it can be a family member who may or may not necessarily live with you, right? But I think there are many important details only about your life, about your child's life, which this person must do. The first and most important thing that comes to my mind is if your child is on any medication. I think this should be a very very important list. That you should already share with people around you once even identify who these people can be, talk to them beforehand, and prepare them. Right. Uh, another thing that you have to keep in mind is if they have any food restrictions or any dietary preferences that your child um, takes, आप उसका एक लिस्ट बना दीजिए. Right. Everything that you might need, you prepare an emergency kit. Actually. My suggestion to you would be that emergency kit should contain a set of fresh clothes. Especially underwear and personal hygiene items. All his medicines organized properly. आप इसको time के हिसाब से morning, after lunch, post dinner ऐसे organize कर सकते हैं. Days of the week में भी organize कर सकते हैं. And label them properly so that whoever is giving these medicines to your child knows what he is doing. You can also add a few of his favorite food items if they're non-perishable. Also add his favorite story books, his favorite activities that he likes to do in his free time. Anything that de-stresses him, maybe his iPad even. But if you're giving an iPad, you also might want to note down how many minutes he can use it for. For example, for my brother, if he uses the phone for too long, even that makes him anxious. And these are small details that somebody new might not know about your child. See, the idea is not to scare anybody, right? But to prepare everybody for a situation that's likely. Before I sign off, my last tip, and I think this is the most important tip. For your entire family, is how you guys interact with each other in your homes today. Which is, you, we often come in physical contact. You know, we give each other hugs, we shake each other's hands. I think the idea is to start practicing namaste from today inside your houses, right? Like a lot of times when we meet our neighbors, we shake their hands. Instead, let's all start practicing namaste because this is the first and the most important role of social distancing. And I think we're lucky to have this in our culture. If you have any more questions or any more things that you'd like me to share with you, please leave a comment below and reach out. Subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out a lot of more content around this, and we'll continue to share all the information that we have with you.